Hey guys, it's Yourself Wolverines, and today we're going to be reviewing the TSD 92 um, M9 Green Gas Semi Automatic Blowback. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, um, the SD 92 TSD M9 is semi automatic. Here's some of the features on the box um, it's gas blowback, hop up um, system, 25 round clip. Up to 50 feet accuracy and 300 feet per second. And um, over here, the length of the barrel um, is 216 millimeters. The weight is standard 730 grams, all metal 1,040 grams. Um, caliber 6 millimeter BB metallic ABS, or you can do a 6 millimeter paintball on this. The capacity is 25 plus 1 in the chamber. It is green gas, or I'm pretty sure you can use propane. Not sure though. I would use green gas. It lubricates your parts while you're firing. 300 FPS and then one. I think it's one zero scale, if that's what that is. Um, so right when you get it from your unboxing or whatever, and this is his hop up Team SD Airsoft TST Tactical with the gun and gas blowback, and then it does have. But it recommends. I use point twelve, yeah, you know. Oh, you said dip, you use point twelve, you use point twenty. I don't give you if you have seen some of my other videos of how many point twelve BBs I have, I'm not switching anytime soon. Alright, so just a little cover. It's actually a pretty decently strong cover. Okay. And then when you first open it, you should get your manual. Like this. It just says, um, air model firearm, caliber 6mm BB. It's nice, it's, um, there's some Japanese, but not that, so I guess it is Chinglish. Tells you loading and stuff. Oh, let me check something. It does tell you how to remove the slide, which I will show you. I'm not doing all that, though, that, that's like crazy. Um, it does have, um, a model breakdown, I think it is, of all the parts. So if you really want to have a challenge and take something apart and build it, if you show me that video, I'll literally give you like a hundred bucks or something. That's, that's amazing if you can do that. But yeah, like that. Um, I'm going to check something. I'm going to check how the hot up was. I think it's just... Hmm. It's another summer. So yeah, um, really good manual. Pretty helpful. Has it um it closed and then it has it back. Because this is a blowback. And when I open it, this will actually be zip tied down. But um once you take it out, it's a pretty decent box. And it will come with some six millimeter BBs that are white. Um they're a little bit higher quality, but still you know if you're a Long time airsoft, you know, not to use BBs that come in boxes. So this, who is it? It's one of my non friends. <laughs> Anymore. Hey, okay, um, let me zoom out. So, yeah, here's the gun. Uh, I'm like kind of beside the. Okay. I'm gonna zoom you out fully. Here's the gun. Um, right here it says. M190 Special Forces, Forces Special Force, caliber 6 millimeter, 2003. That's a cool trademark. And this is fully licensed, I'm pretty sure, because they called it M9. I don't know. Air model firearms. Um, read instructions before use. Uh, send a voicemail. I'm just gonna change sounds like that. Okay. Um, yeah, it has, I can't, made, oh, Made in Taiwan HFC Special Force. Alright, and here's the, um, mag release. Mag release, and you just, yeah. And then this is your magazine. I, um, did, I bought green gas whenever I bought it a long time ago. Um, green gas is good. And you just want to take out your nozzle. And then things right here, you know. Mine's all already full, so let's just see if we can take any more. Seems pretty full to me. 
But now, yeah, just make sure you always gotta turn your things upside down. That's what I did whenever I first started airsoft. I started going like this, and I could never get any gas in there because it would. Yeah, it was pretty mental. But um, yeah. So to load this, you have to have this down, and you can use a speed loader. I would recommend and just put them in here. You go like this, and then the BBs will just go in there. Here, I actually have a speed loader on here. Alright, so you get your speed loader like this. And go like this. And you just, it's double stack, so that's why it holds so many. Okay. Alright. Yep, yeah, there's a lot of babies. 25. Well, technically 26, because once you put one in the chamber. Okay, we're gonna Okay. Um, back on the gun. Um, here is a slide lock because it does is a gas blowback, so it locks whenever you shoot the last round. Um, mine I changed it a little bit. Uh, if you take off this, you can see the trigger spring, or it's for this, I think. But I changed mine a little bit, so whenever you pull this back, the trigger moves. And then, so yeah, like, just whenever I pull it back, so my trigger's about here, not here, but that's okay. Still the same thing. Okay, to disassemble this, mainly just to take a slide off, you just wanna, there's this little, like this pin right here, I'm gonna push that in. Whenever you're pushing that in, you go like this, and it should just slide right off. And then the hop up. I don't remember where that was, but I don't like messing with gas bulbs because they have a tendency for just the things to come apart. I don't they're usually like messing with guns unless I know what I'm doing. Which I do. Okay, um, the hammer, which is right here, it's fully metal. This whole thing is fully metal, except for these grips, or this hard plastic, but they're, they're stiff. What I do like about this gun is it has this little number right here for your thumb. I like that. Um, safety is right here. Now, the weird thing about the safety on this gun is you can still pull back the slide, but you can't pull the trigger then. You can, but like, it's weird. Um... The safety is ambidextrous, so I'll do it from this side and see it. Then, um, you know, just some basic magazine. I'm not gonna put it in because I don't start feeding bullets. It does have a rail right here, a Riz rail, RS rail. Um, I could you could put a flashlight on it. I do like is um since it man, I'm really. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like down here. Since it has this rail, it's flat right here, so a flashlight would be perfect. Um, oh, the sights. The sights are really good. They have, um, they're white. They're really nice. They're really easy to target things. Easy. And this back sight, I know it comes off. Because there is a little screw right in there, if you can see that. I think you can. Mm, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, pretty much it. It's a good gun. I think it's $85 without shipping or anything on Air Idle. Go get it on Air Idle. Probably save you some money from like Evike and stuff. Alright, yeah, it's um pretty heavy. It's a couple pounds too. So I'm just going to put all this stuff back in the box. Gun. Manual. Manual. And your cover. So whenever you're buying this, make sure you pick up some uh, good old green gas. The firepower green gas is what they sell on um, Air Rattle. Yeah, alright. So, um, hope you guys buy this. Um, this is the review of the SD92 TSD M9 Full Metal Gas Blowback Pistol. Yeah. Alright.
we'll see you on the next review. Oh, quick thing I wanted to say. Um, I know I haven't been doing a lot of, like, airsoft videos or, like, shooting tests or anything. Next week, so, like, after Christmas, like, December 26th and that, that week, I'm going to try to do as many shooting tests as I can. If I don't do any, well, then I probably got some cool stuff. But I'm going to make a video, probably a couple videos about what I got from Christmas or something. So, um, yeah, um, see you guys later.